everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Lex and I am the owner of plantlifelex.com which is my online plant store that I run from my one bedroom apartment this week is actually a busy week for me because it is the last week of the month since it is the end of the month I am trying to clear out the greenhouse so that we can make space for new inventory this week is going to be very busy because I have to add on new listings that we have lingering around in the greenhouse right now and try to get those to sell so that we can make that extra space I will be traveling to the wholesale greenhouse this week to pick up the plant order and pick out some other things that I see in there that can be added into the shop for the first week of November. I am going to be doing a whole separate video about the wholesale greenhouse so that you can see all the plants, see what it's like. I'll take you guys on a tour and that'll be also coming out this following week on Tuesday. As for this week, I know that I'm expecting some inventory to come in that's not plants, so hopefully that comes in and I can show you guys. I have to pot up a few propagations so we can get them on the site and get them labeled and take pictures and things like that. And then I have to do a lot of marketing and create some ads for the site so that we can encourage some people to come and shop. Most likely the video is going to be sped up with me doing things behind the scenes so you guys can actually see what it's like running my plant store from home. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you later. I just got a notification that my package has been dropped off so here it is this is some more inventory for the website it's obviously not live plants um, I did order this from a vendor that I've been working with so I'm so excited to see it so I'm gonna open it now so you guys can see too it's like in a weird um, box I don't know how to explain it it's got this hard corners here I've never seen no box like that Ooh. So it's a bunch of moss holes, you guys. I got white and clear. So essentially what you do is you put all the moss down on this part and then you close it and like attach it. So it's like a circle or whatever. I got a freaking lot. Oh my gosh. Why did I get so many? I got white and then you can tell this is clear. It looks really simple to do. It looks like you just connect it. So let me see. Okay, so this is it. It literally feels very thick. It honestly feels exactly the same material as the moss poles I already make. I'll put a picture up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Those moss poles, I would make them from a plastic cooking mat that literally looked exactly like this and felt like this. And I would just cut it to size. So you bend each side up, right? So there's three slots along the bottom. So you can choose the size that you want. Oh, this is so neat. Wow, look how cool this is, you guys. Yeah, so you just connect it. I put it on the third one, and then the bottom has these little sticks that you just stick in the pot like that. And then you can fill it with moss. If you guys do leka poles or even like uh, soil mix poles, that's what I use. So, and I'll definitely demonstrate this for you guys as well. So I have two colors. I got clear and I got white. They did have an option for black, but I felt that maybe not that many people would go for the black, but maybe I'm wrong. So if you guys think that you guys would like the black ones, let me know because then I will um, definitely talk to my vendor to see if I can get some black ones as well in the next month or two. These are really nice. And the really cool thing about these is that they can stack together. So as long as if you have two, you just shove this part into the top and you can just keep it going. And I think it's a great quality. It's very firm. You can hear it here. It's not flimsy. Even me shaking it, it's not flimsy. And it's definitely gonna hold its support. So I would definitely demonstrate showing you guys these. I'm gonna get these onto the site hopefully this week or if I don't get them on there this week, it will be next week. It took about a month, maybe a month and a half to get here. Not too bad. I ordered these and the pots around the same time and they came about two weeks within each other. Like other businesses, I do order these type of products in wholesale from a specific vendor. There's a bunch of vendors out here and if you are a business, you will have to just do your own research on picking a vendor for your own site. Yes, this is what they look like they look amazing and all in all i'm very happy so i'm excited to try it out and show you guys this week
Hi everybody! Right now I'm in the greenhouse and I have a few water props that I need to pot up into our soil free potting mix so that I can list them on the site. I have a few plants that have been growing in water and it's definitely time for them to get potted up so I want to do that today. I have a few other plants that I had in perlite and leca that were on the site but I think I'm just going to change them into potting mix instead. I experimented a little bit with adding just cuttings and perlite that would ship in sphagnum moss. What are you doing? And based off of like the analytics and everything, I feel that plants that were cuttings did not sell the way that the plants potted up did. So I'm just going to take them out and pop them into four inch pots and relist them as is. Um, like for instance, I have this Syngonium elbow that's in Leca that's been on the site for a while but it's the only one that's kind of lingering um, compared to the ones that are potted up so I'm just gonna pot them in this stuff instead. I am going to be wearing gloves because like I said I do my own nails at home I try not to ruin them maybe you guys can do some plant chores as well as I do this and I will show you guys the process after when I have to take the pictures of all of them I write the names of them and stuff like that.
just finished potting and repotting some of the plants for the shop. Um, they're in this bin here and then I even did some in here as well. So what I have to do now is take pictures of all the new plants and retake pictures of the old plants so I can replace the pictures since they were photographed in Leco or Perlite. After I'm done taking pictures of everything, then I will go ahead and water everything after and I'll also water all the plants in here and the plants in my IKEA greenhouses as well. This is the little photo station. I've shown this before. It's nothing special. It is just a piece of like photography paper. Um, it's matte on one side, glossy on the other. You're supposed to like drape it on a like photography like hanger thing, but I was like, I don't need any more clutter and stuff like that. So we just taped it to the wall. This is actually in my bedroom and it just stays like this. I don't care. This is where I take my Instagram pictures and the shop pictures as well. I just take all of my product pictures using my iPhone and then I go in Lightroom and edit them. Then I will be able to just um, take the pictures out of the Adobe Cloud and put them on the computer and upload them to the site. It's just faster for me to just do everything on my phone and then just move them to the computer as necessary. So I'm going to go through all the plants right now and then I have to tag all the plants with their appropriate names and numbers.
So I'm feeling very motivated and I'm trying to get all of my marketing done for this week and also prepping the marketing templates for next week as well because next week is going to be the very big restock since I am going to the wholesale greenhouse this weekend. So we will have tons of new plants and inventory on the site next weekend so i'm trying to get a lot of the work done now right now i'm on canva i've talked about canva before it's really great if you have a website like squarespace shopify or even etsy like the premium version and you're trying to make marketing and things like that it's very easy to use and it's definitely worth paying that monthly for it for the premium so every week i put out a flyer on my instagram story and i also put out the flyer via my email mailing list so i decided to redesign it a little bit better so this one that you're looking at is what i kind of just came up with i might tweak it still but this is the standard email on instagram flyer about the new arrivals and any promotions that's going on this is my second page where it talks about all of the plant pots that we have and on the third page i keep all of the information regarding soil free mix pond and perlite and then i will also have a fourth page of the flyer once i get the listings for the multiples and i just upload them right to my story in the same order that i just showed you and for the email list i do use mailchimp specifically for my mailing list users they will always get this flyer a few days early or a day early depending on how soon i'm able to get all the listings up so a tip for me to you is that really focus on your email list first even though i have less subscribers on my email list than obviously on my instagram your email list is really going to consist of people that's going to buy for me my customers a lot of them are returning and some of them buy every single week so i definitely want to get the product out to them first so really focus heavy on your email list your email list is very important because if something does happen to instagram or your youtube or whatever you need to be able to get in contact with you know your subscribers or followers on your mailing list to let them know where you're at you know so yes i like to always give out the email list first to them because i feel like they deserve it first then a day later i will give it out to instagram so that wraps up this week's video you guys i hope you guys are enjoying these behind the scenes vlogs and i will see you guys in my next video bye